This is a video on a high standard, double nine. Um, I'll go over a few things with you on it. I've personally owned this for a couple of decades. It has a really nice big light grip. No little damage on the frame. Somebody used it wearing a ring, I would say, and as a hammer at some point. I got this at a pawn shop years ago. There is some machine marks here that's through the plating. But other than that, it's got a really nice finish on it. It's been used quite a bit, but the barrel is in excellent shape. 22 long rifle. Double nine. I use this whenever I go to the range to do some plinking. I always keep it loaded and ready to go. I do not turn the cylinder with the hammer down like some people do. <laughs> that don't like guns. There's a good stamping right there. Hamden, Connecticut. This thing, uh, I think I bought it for around 300. 250 to 300 at a pawn shop. Uh, when I first got it, I looked at it and I saw that it had some pitting, like it had actually been setting out in a moist area like a garage for a while. But this gun feels really good in your hands. It's um, It's got good reviews. I just wanted to share that gun with you guys. I don't recall seeing one on the internet. This one came with a Viking. Handmade in Mexico poster. I can't say anything bad about it. <clears throat> Sometimes when you need to get the gun out though, the front sight catches here. I don't like that, but the sight is pretty big on the end there. It's got a nice round edge to it, but it still wants to catch. So you, you gotta be aware of that when you wanna get this thing out of the holster fast if that ever happens but yeah I normally leave it unsnapped and I keep it greased up I use a lot of animal fat on it and so it's been working it still looks good it was starting to dry out a tad there for a while well, thanks for letting me share this video with you. I hope you enjoyed the gun candy video.